Hi, this is Phil DeBella and you're listening to Flashcast by PDB. Today I want to talk about some misconceptions around leadership. Yep, leadership, one of those buzzwords. Everyone's born to be a leader. Everyone wants to be a leader. All the things that we hear. Now, let me start by saying that leadership is all about building fellowship. You've heard me talk about it before. Lessons from a dancing guy. Uh, Three minutes and it'll tell you exactly what uh, the fundamentals of leadership are. But in this episode, I want to talk about the misconceptions of leadership. So let me start by uh, number one would have to be that people believe that leaders are born. Now, Leadership is not something that some people are just born with like a personality. It is a teachable skill. I believe that anyone can learn to become a leader. It is not a fixed skill as such that must be born with. You know, the concept of leadership, the art of leadership is all about getting people to follow you. And how do we get people to follow us? Well, in many ways, but especially the key to getting people to follow is communication. And if you think about that, we're born um, not knowing how to communicate verbally, Uh, of course we communicate in other ways, then what happens is that as we become communicators from birth to adulthood, we become, we learn more tools to communicate. Therefore, we should be able to understand that by becoming better communicators that we can actually become better leaders or become leaders. So I don't believe that leaders are born. I believe um, leadership is something that is a teachable skill and I believe it is something that uh, you pick up. Of course, it does have a lot to do with um, nature and nurture. Um, So, of course, you know, um, some values that you're born with, some traits that you're born with are going to help you um, become a leader or not. But it doesn't necessarily mean that a successful leader is born with um, a certain trait um, and can't develop it later. That's my opinion anyway. Um, Another misconception is that leaders are charismatic. I don't believe this. Take myself, for example, I'm very extroverted in your company. I'm extroverted around friends and family that know me um, or people that have worked with me for a long time. And a lot of them would call me charismatic, um, I would hope. Um, And in new company or in new new environments, I'm actually quite introverted. I'm not that charismatic, flamboyant, person that's that you would believe um, is out there and w- winning people over. Um, some people have magnetic personalities that only come out once they know people. Some people have it from the start. There is a difference in people. I think that the um, the concept of leaders are charismatic is, is incorrect. I believe leaders are authentic. So it's their authentic self that they show you. Another one is that leaders don't have to work, they just delegate. Well, (laughs) if only that was true. Um, In in this one, I use the um, analogy of a conductor in a concert band um, or in an orchestra. Whilst that uh, leader, the conductor at the front, might look like he or she is not doing very much at all, it's the small things that matter, uh, as in when to introduce uh, a new instrument to be playing, to judge the the speed of which people, which the music is being playing at, to um, um, tell people to quieten down, lift the tone, to speed it up, slow it down, to tell them to stop, start, to keep the beat. Now, leadership to me is very much exactly the same. Um, leaders, the true leader, um, leads by example. It's not the person who delegates to everybody else and then produces the results. I believe that the best leaders are the hardworking leaders, the ones that lead by example, the ones that don't, um, you know, if it's a leader of a cafe, it's not the person that goes to tell somebody to clean up the table, it's the person that actually goes and cleans the table and shows the others how it's done. Um, To me, the best leaders are definitely not delegators. Uh, They know how to produce. And if they are delegating, well, then they're delegating so that they're freeing up time to be able to do other things that are important within the organisation. This one to me is um, something that we should all pay attention to is that people think that leaders are the people with the highest position, rank or title. I can tell you my organization where it's a completely vertical integration of, you know, sourcing coffee, importing coffee, producing coffee, packing coffee, et cetera, et cetera, from what we called crop to cup. It wasn't the leaders that sat behind their desks and, and did the, um, you know, the, the administration tasks or, or, um, or one would think. To me, some of the best leaders came out on the field. Some of the best leaders were the ones that were in there packing boxes. Those, some of the best leaders were the ones that were getting their hands dirty um, and showing others how to do it. And it all sits within that concept of fellowship. So to me, leaders are not always the people with the highest position, rank or title. To me, the people with the highest rank or title are the ones with the most responsibility. 
However, leaders are the ones that are most important and you'll find that often the leaders that are most important are the ones that have direct links to do with customers um, or uh, leading teams um, in, in execution of strategy. Another one is that um, leadership is an ability given only to a few. Now, this is something that I, I find completely incorrect. In some areas of life, homes, school, workplaces, you know, churches, communities, everyone has a leadership role in one way, shape or another. This is something I believe they should be doing at school is that they should be actually creating leaders um, of all sorts, not just those class captains and those people that are designated leaders or, or, or an ability that's only given to a few people. I think there's leadership qualities every single person because there's the ability to have people follow you no matter what your title is. And I think that's something that we really need to bring to the forefront of um, communication and to people's minds. Another one which flows from that is that only adults can be leaders. Well, this isn't true. I've had my children lead me. They're 11 and 9, and I've seen them lead me in situations. Sometimes they've led me when I haven't even noticed that they've been leading me. Um, and I'm sure a few of the listeners have found themselves in, in that situation before. Uh, some of the best negotiations I've ever seen is from children um, because they have this authentic way to do it without actually knowing that they're negotiating, um, which take us down a path. Um, and that is the art of leadership as well, you know, being led to achieve an outcome that they want, um, which is quite significant. And, and I think it's something we should encourage at all levels. And I think great leadership actually starts uh, when they're children uh, to show them that they need to be able to communicate, that they need to be able to engage to create followers. followers. And if they at a young age can learn to create followers, then they're going to be aspiring leaders. Um, and again, understanding that leadership is not a hierarchy. So it all plays in to one and the other. Um, and the last one I want to touch on is the concept that leadership is easy. It is not about destination. Leadership is a journey. This is something that I found um, and continue to work on. You know, the statement of leadership is easy is that it would only be made by somebody who's never been a leader. Um, leadership is hard. It can be rewarding, but it, it is hard. It is one of the most difficult jobs you could do because it take, comes with a lot of responsibility. And it also comes with a lot of self-learning. I, I talk about tomorrow being better than today and the best leaders that um, I've encountered are always working very, very hard to become the best versions of themselves. They're always talking about being the best that they can be. They're always talking about tomorrow being better than today. And Therefore, leadership is not a destination. Um, so I just wanted to share some of these misconceptions of leadership, and I hope that they've helped um, the listeners take a few key notes away and apply them to yourself. But again, I talk from experience and talk from stuff that I find um, valuable and powerful to myself. Now, keep those questions coming. That was a question that was uh, posted up on um, Facebook um, a few weeks ago, so I wanted to answer it. But um, keep those questions coming. Until then, be the best you can be. Understand that there's many misconceptions of, of what leadership is all about. Be the best version of yourself. Be part of the change you want to see. You've been listening to Phil DeBella, and this is Flashcast by PDB. Flashcast.